My name is Samara Brogan, and I am the president of the Westside High School chapter of National Honor Society. We would like to welcome you to the 2020-2021 induction ceremony. At this time, please rise for the recitation of the Pledge of Allegiance, which will be led by our AFJR OTC commander, Leighton Pippi. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, and indivisible with liberty and justice for all. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Chris George, Westside High School principal. Thank you. Good morning. I want to start off by saying congratulations. Congratulations to each one of you for this opportunity to be inducted in the National Honor Society. Now, I know this year's not been normal, it's not been easy, and it's definitely not what you had looked forward to as we entered the school year. The fact that you're sitting here right now is an indication of your hard work, of the challenges that you've overcome throughout this school year and even last year. So, as it was said a while ago, this COVID edition of the Pandemic National Honor Society induction, it is going on though. For your family and friends that are gonna be watching later on, I wanna say thank you to them. Thank you so much for sharing your student with us. Thank you for helping shape them into the young man or young lady that sits before us here now. Now, during these uncertain times, our teachers have done their absolute best to continue to strive to give you the educational experiences that are going to impact you as you move forward through your educational career and the graduation and hopefully into college or career or whatever that's going to be for you. We take great pride in providing our students with memories and opportunities that are going to last in your memories for your lifetime. And today is the day that you get to have one of those memories. So even though it's not like what you had expected, we're here, we're glad we could share a small part in that. Uh, so again, I thank you so much for the hard work that you have displayed throughout your educational career and the example that you've set for other students. Thank you very much. We appreciate the support of the administrators for our NHS chapter. At this time, I would like to introduce the other officers. Officers, please stand when I call your name. Danelli Roscoe, Vice President. Layton Tippy, Secretary. And Leanne Bush, Treasurer. Thank you for your service to this organization. There are four pillars of the National Honor Society. Scholarship, leadership, character, and service. Each officer will discuss one pillar. The first pillar is scholarship. All members of National Honor Society are expected to maintain a GPA of 3.5 in order to stay in the club. However, scholarship is about more than just grades. Scholarship can be defined as academic study or achievement. Every single one of you have achieved so much in your lives, from being able to graduate from elementary to middle school, to being here on this stage today. Whether you are amazing at math or great at dribbling down a basketball court, all achievements take hard work and dedication. Scholarship is an important quality that we display because when we look at our members, we want to see studious individuals who have a personal drive to succeed. National Honor Society is a prestigious chapter to be a part of, so we expect all of our members to aim for better than the minimum requirements. Having the pillar of scholarship exhibits the potential for excellence in all of our members. And now, Vice President Nellie Orozco will speak about leadership. Max Dupree once said, the first responsibility of leaders is to define reality. The last is to say thank you. In between, the leader is a servant. All National Honor Society members are expected to show leadership skills. Leadership is not limited to being a captain or president of a club. Leadership is not about bossing everyone around. 
Leadership is about stepping up when no one knows what to do so a plan can be made. That is, a, that is what it means to be a leader. However, leaders need to know when to listen and when to speak. National Honor Society members need to display good leadership qualities like active listening, having integrity, showing empathy, practicing good communication, and maintaining flexibility. Since you are all members of the National Honor Society, you have shown us that you have these qualities of leadership. We want you to continue to use these, this pillar of leadership inside and outside the classroom. And now Treasurer, or Secretary Leighton Tippy will speak about character. leadership and scholarship. These four traits build upon each other and depend on each other. You're being honored today for possessing these attributes and we hope you aspire to strengthen them and incorporate them in your everyday life. Our character defines us. It's one of the core values of an HS member. It determines what we do when we are faced with right and wrong. It is the difference between going out of your way to make someone feel loved rather than leaving them empty. You can say all the words in the world Dress yourself to appear a certain way, and put yourself into a position to seem great. But it is your character that shows how you really are. If the strength of your character has not already been tested, it will. Be prepared, because some situation is going to come along and test your very core values and what matters most to you. I'm going to leave you with congratulations and one of my favorite quotes from Aristotle. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. So go out and hold yourself to a higher standard to do what's right. Now, Treasurer Leanne Bush will speak to you about service. The fourth and final pillar of National Art Society is service. Service is the willingness to work for the benefit of those in need, done without compensation with a positive, courteous, and enthusiastic spirit. In this chapter, Members are required to uphold at least eight hours of community service, but encouraged to aim to exceed the expectations. Examples of service can be donating blood or helping at the local food bank, but there are so many things you can do to help the community. As a chapter, we are committed to volunteering our time and effort to those in need to have a better tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, officers. It is now our pleasure to introduce the inductees for the 2020-2021 school year. Inductees, when I call your name, please come sign the membership book and receive your certificate. Once you sign, please take your pen. Madison George. Lucy Pugh. Jada Diaz.
Patty Eldridge. Zoe Green. Kendall McLaughlin. Haven Powers. Allison Robbins. And Hunter Wall. Congratulations to the new members of the Westside High School National Honor Society. At this time, please rise for the recitation of the National Honor Society Creed, which was placed in your chair. I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school and will maintain and encourage high standards for all four pillars, scholarship, service, leadership, and character. This concludes the induction ceremony for the Westside High School chapter of National Honor Society. Thank you for your attendance.